So I'm going to start off with a few basic probability ideas here. Um, I'm going to introduce a notation where I'm going to have P and then a bracket heads, for example, to mean the probability of scoring a heads on one toss of a coin. So when you flip a coin, you know that there is either heads on one side or tails on the other. And so there are two possible options. And in order to get heads, I need only one of those to appear. So the probability of heads would be the one, the one head that can possibly show up, out of the two possible options. So one out of two. So one half, as it is, could also be written as 0.5, for example, or 50%. But in the majority of cases, we want to keep to fractions and decimals. How about the probability of rolling a 6 on a normal die? Okay, so on a fair die, rolling a 6, then there's only one 6 on the 6 faces. So I only have one possible way of winning. But there are 6 possible numbers that could come up, 1 to 6. And so the probability of rolling a 6 would be 1 out of 6, 1 6. Now, things get a little bit more interesting when you think, well, okay, um, how about then if I roll my die and I'm looking for an even number? Well, okay, right, rolling an even number. Now, the possible numbers that are on this die are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 1 to 6. And each has an even chance. So, the even numbers are 2, 4, and 6. So, let's say that I win if I get an even number. Well, there are three possible even numbers that could appear out of a possible 6. And 3 sixths can be simplified just down to 1 half. So you could say that roll, the probability of rolling an even number on a fair die would be evens, or 50-50. Let's have a look at another idea. So let's say um, I have a bag. And in the bag, I have a number of coloured balls. Um, I do actually have some colours, so... Let's have that one as green, and that one as green. And I'm going to have that one as red. And then... Those ones as blue. So let's then say um, I put my hand into the bag and I'm looking for the probability that I pull out a red ball. Well, if I look at what's in the ball, I only have one red ball. So there's only one possibility out of a total number of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven balls. And so the probability would be 1 out of 7 for picking a red. If it was a blue, then in this case, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 blue balls out of a possible 7. So the probability in fractional form is quite easy to work with. And you're looking at the number of possible ways of getting the event... So in this case, blue, and there's four of them, out of the total number of possibilities. Okay, the total number that you could possibly have. So this is, these are the basic concepts of probability. And as we have seen, they could be given as fractions or decimals. But in some cases, fractions work better than others. Um, in the case of 
out of seven, a fraction is really excellent. It works really well. But for to work with sevens in a decimal format is quite nasty because the decimals are quite long. So fractions suit some probability questions better than others.